day guys <clears throat> well next day what what is today I don't know what day it is I fucking fly uh, Friday the 31st <clears throat> the night of the blue moon for July sweet but anyway I'm taking off here didn't get much time off getting ready to pick up a load of dog food at the Mars Pet Care in McCarran Nevada Exit 28 on Interstate 80. That's going down to the Mars Pet Care in Redlands, California. Uh, that's way down there by Fontana and Riverside, San Bernardino and stuff. Deliver that tonight. Oh, this fly loves me. And then after that, I'm grabbing a preload out of the same place that goes up to uh, Pulliup. Washington, I think I said that right. I don't know, I never get it. Anyway, but I'm just going to take that up to the uh, Tulare yard and drop it off because this truck is due for a B service. And those of you that, that don't know what a B service is, it's a uh, an oil change for a big truck. It's a oil change and a loop job, full service. And they go through everything, change all the filters and Except for the air filter. It depends if it's really dirty or not, and they tap off all the fluids. And before I take off, I stopped at uh, Del Taco. Got me a couple burritos and a couple quesadillas. So I need at least one burrito now and snack on this other stuff. So that's going to be my meal for today. And then, yeah, before I take off, go and get a burrito, then go. Oh, I'm mumbling already. Blah. Well, turns out the load, I can pick it up tomorrow, but I have to be there by midnight, Saturday night, tomorrow night. You know, I just want to stay an extra day home, just talk to my dispatcher about it, and he's cool. You're just going to have to find me a different load to get me up to Tulare. So I'm going to go over there, grab my grab Cliffy, my pickup, and uh, go back home, hang out, maybe do some video stuff or something. I don't know yet. thing about these Dodge Rams man they're always thirsty yeah that's for any Dodge really but we measure fun per gallon instead of mile per gallon <laughs> glub 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 all right well I'm home now and my family's not here I want to give them a call and see where they're at see what they're doing they're probably out there paying bills or something who knows so let me find my family well, mom didn't answer her phone, and but my brother did after a thousand fucking rings. And they say they're down there on Kitsky Lane, coming back towards the house and drop some stuff off. And then they're going to go to Walmart. I think I'm going to tag along with them. That sounds fun. Tag along. Tag a log, tug a lug. Or is that chug a lug? Chug a lug, chug a lug. I don't know. What song do you think it is? You need to tell your brother you need to, he needs to slow down. He drives way too fucking fast. You need to slow down, you're driving too fucking fast. Shut up, you motherfucker. It's the night ball that fits the night ball. <laughs> the stuff I go through when I'm home, the insanity. Meanwhile, the lady's like, whatever, dude. He needs to find a light bulb that'll fit in the light bulb hole. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> Sparky, he could, he could really give a fuck about what's going on right now. <laughs> Walmart. Now, if I could only find a spot. Like a glove. 
Yo, hey, what's up, swag? <laughs> In through the outdoor. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if these fit in the light bulb hole. Yep. It fits. But it's brighter than the other ones. What? Alright, we're getting ready to shave the dogs. Well, at least Sparky is. I'm just going to videotape it. He, he's prepping his workstation now. He cut open a, a plastic bag and duct taping it to one of the chairs. Mighty fine duct tape job you got going there, sir. Looks like Sparky's first customer is Googie. Googie! And what? And the reason why we shave the dogs. Number one, foremost, is to reduce, reduce, <laughs> reduce, yeah, reduce the hair, the hair in the house, and it keeps them cool and clean. Yep. Longer. Look at Googie with this fresh new haircut. Come here. Come here. Look at you. What's your new hair do? <laughs> okay. Looks like Mr. Tippy Twos is Sparky's next customer. This is gonna be a lammy. And he writes his hair is the worst. Well, even with uh, putting plastic over the chair, you'll get fur on there, and that's gonna be a motherfucker to get off. Good thing we got duct tape. All right, Sparky got a new backpack today. Tell us about your new backpack, sir. Well, it's 25 bucks over there at Shields, and I've been wanting it for a couple of days now for motorcycling. So when I get my motorcycle, this is what I'm going to be wearing. I'll be taking this to class, motorcycle class. It has a bright orange and everything on it. So when I ride my motorcycle, people can see me. So what will you be carrying in your bright orange and blue backpack? Probably when I go in places, my helmet and my gloves and everything will go in. Oh. And then this clip is really cool too, so when I ride my motorcycle too, so. We don't. Won't blow away. <laughs> <laughs> so is it just a big bag with a couple strings, or is there like pockets? Yeah, it's just a bag with. Well, it has two extra pockets. One side, one here. It's like a pretty deep little pocket for change, and then. the netting in it for like pencils or something. That's it. Ah, uh, dinner tonight's gonna be at Steak and Shake. Up here in uh, Golden Valley. Perfect way to end the day. With the big greasy burger and a big old fat milkshake. Mmm. Hmm, what to get? There's all kinds of crap in this thing. Alright. Hmm. Looks good too. Oh yeah, we got Shadow the Hedgehog with us. Yep, that's right. He's dead guy. Hmm. Drummers for the band, guitarist for the original. Well, about an hour later we finally get our food. Service really fucking sucks tonight. 
Hope, it, hope the food tastes better than the service is. Well, we're done eating. It took a long time to get the food, but the food was good. I ate like a dinosaur, scarfed it down really fast, looked like Homer Simpson. Okay, so the food, I give five stars. Service, half a star. What about you, bud? Yeah, food was definitely five stars. And like one star for service. The service wasn't good, that great. All right. Shadow. Food, five stars. The service, two and a half. All right. It was crappy. Um, wait, hold on. Check that. The service was no stars, but the food was a six to me. Ooh, off the charts on the food. Well, <laughs> not quite, but it was good. It was really good for a fast food type of thing. Yep. Huh. So that's our synopsis of the Steak and Shake up here in Golden Valley, Nevada. Now, I'm out of here for the day. Good night.